Hey everybody, welcome to Voices of John. Uh, if you take a look around real quick, you see that I lost my booth. I'm just kidding. So today we're going to look at uh, putting together your own sound booth. I uh, had to do a quick addition to this one, so I figured what best than to take it all down and put it together and show you how I did it. So let's get into it. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. <music> That's big time. And we're back. So about two or three months ago, I decided to just kind of bite the bullet and go ahead and put together a, a treated area for uh, voiceover. Um, if you can tell without the treatment or without a booth, uh, a lot of echo, reverb, all that good stuff uh, kind of plays crazy um, with your ears in the headphones so anyway so like i said i took my booth apart uh, d added something that i'll talk about uh, when i put it back together and have the, the rest of the video uh, so anyway i'm going to go ahead and put my booth together take some pictures i'm not going to bother with the whole time lapse thing uh, but anyway i'll put up some pictures of what i did and look at the final product and uh we'll see if you uh if i can teach you anything about it so thanks so this first picture gives you a general idea of how I built this booth, or at least the frame of it. So you have two by four uprights and then one by six is around the top. Uh, and it's not in the picture, but you can see just a little bit of it, uh, the fourth side. So you have all four sides kind of making a box at the top. I have the same thing at the bottom, and then those boxes are connected by the 2x4s. Now as I mentioned in a previous video, I decided to go ahead and mount a computer screen to the frame itself, and that just enables me to look at both my DAW and any sort of scripts that I have uh, while recording. And then this is just another uh, angle where you can see the box at the top and how it's connected each board is connected to the upright with three fasteners those clips you see at the top are going to be used later to hang the blankets and uh, but that gives you an idea and those are actually relatively inexpensive and do a great job of holding everything up from this angle again you can see the frame but then if you look at the bottom there you can see the desk that I use in there where I put my interface, the headphones, got a little Bluetooth uh, keyboard, and then I have an upright where I have my mic stand connected to the boom arm. In this picture, you can see one of the joints with the box and the upright and how that just sits there on the floor. Now the carpet and the padding underneath it helps with, of course, uh, absorbing or scattering or what have you, the sounds coming down, uh, but also when the sound uh, reflects up off of the subfloor, again, that padding and carpet's gonna help with that as well. Now you get to see what it is I had to add to my booth. Uh, that little cross member there at the, in the middle, uh, I needed to add that because the roof was sagging some and uh, I didn't like the way it looked. So anyway, I figured I would add this. And then in this next picture, if you look, you'll notice that these are the brackets that hold that cross member. You know, I don't know if it matters, but I actually went ahead and put the uh, cross member at an angle using those angled brackets just in case any sound does reflect off of that, uh, I think that's a one by two, uh, it will be angled towards the back of the booth and then it will also be angled towards the front, but it will stay away from uh, the microphone. So again, I don't know if that was 100% necessary, but better safe than sorry. All right, so in this picture, you can see uh, kind of one of the main things I did for this booth. So I have a layer of blankets in the inside of it and then a layer of blankets wrapped around the outside, which you might be able to see uh, in some final pictures of the finished product or get a sense for it. Um, but one thing I decided to do was purchase a queen size foam mattress topper and then I cut it into quarters. I took three of the quarters and on three sides uh, excluding the fourth side which is the door 
I took safety pins and put these panels up in between the inside layer and the outside layer. Uh, I think it has done really well for treatment. And then in the next picture here, you can see I just wanted to show you real quick one of the other sides. That's the side facing the uh, back wall. And you see how it's kind of sandwiched there in between. As I said, I cut the mattress topper, uh, the foam mattress topper into quarters. And so I used three for the sides. And then the fourth one, if you look at this picture, that is actually sitting on top of the, uh, I guess technically the roof of the uh, booth. And then I just put a blanket over top of that. So then, you know, that way I'll be able to uh, treat the sound going out of the top of the booth. Here is the final booth. Uh, so if you see there, you know, it's pretty, pretty smooth. Uh, maybe the top could use some work, but you know, aesthetically, eh, what have you. But uh, it works well for me at the moment. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I actually have the booth up off of the wall on those two sides by probably about a, a foot and a half in the back and probably a good two feet uh, on the side there because space is actually a very good uh, treatment for sound as well. Uh, so that just gives it that much more uh, treatment with the space there up off the wall. And we are back. Um, so as you can tell, if you can notice the difference between uh, now when I'm speaking and, and then at the beginning of the video, you know, I think this do-it-yourself booth uh, does a pretty good job. Now, as far as estimating the cost of everything, you know, I would maybe say somewhere in the neighborhood of 80 to to $100 for all the materials uh, for this booth. And if it was over $100, it isn't by much. Um, so yeah, this booth works out great. Like you saw, I added a few things. Um, I actually have some lights up and anyway. So everything looks great and it sounds great. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this helps you out if you're looking to uh, make yourself a, uh, a vocal booth. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel if you're interested in future videos and hit that uh, notification bell so you'll know when those videos come out. So again, I thank you and uh, take care. Bye.